Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about importing data into MATLAB. So we want, we have some CSV file or an Excel file with data and we want to get it into MATLAB. And so one of the easiest way to do that is to manually do it first and have MATLAB generate uh, an M file that will do it automatically and then copy that code into somewhere else so we can do it automatically in the future or multiple times easily because we don't want to do you don't want to you want to eliminate as many clicks as you have to make as possible that's that's my theory when it comes to coding so if we want to import a file we can go to in our normal command window we go to file import data open that up we'll just get a little GUI to select the data that we want so let's say we want to import some data from an Excel file we click open and it'll think about it for just a second and then you'll get an import wizard that'll come up and you'll get a preview of the data that you're going to import now this looks a little messy where you have this top row is all numbers and you have a couple columns of non-numbers and then two columns of numbers and you think well maybe that's not right but if we look at our excel file we can see that's the arrangement of data in the, in the excel file itself so we did a good job The headers from the Excel file, where we had we had these labeled here, are in this text data and in column headers. So depending upon your how your head, headers are labeled, when you're importing CSV files or something else like that, it's important to get the number of header lines correct so that you get the numbers that you want. And then to generate M code to do this automatically, we click on this box here, generate M code down at the bottom, and then we click next, and it'll tell us what it's going to name the variables and then click finish and then it'll generate this M code. It'll just call it untitled and you'll get a function where you're gonna function and then it's called import file and this is the important thing to note. You have this file to read so that's the import um, import name. So you, if you wanted to make this not a function you would just copy file file to read say file to read one is equal to uh, c colon backslash whatever the file location is and then copy that and all this data or all of this all this code that's going to create it's going to import all the information and create the subheadings that that are generated by the wizard I'm not going to talk about what all these lines of code do I just copy it all and stick it in and it works just fine and then if we look at the data that was generated we can we can view the data file. So we look at this data, uh, the data variable. I usually rename the columns. So I'd have, hey, let's say this is a time column, this is a, a velocity column, or something. And so uh, I would rename the variables after I imported them, and so that they're easy to work with. But this is an easy way to import data into MATLAB uh, without having to copy and paste and, and how to get automatic code generated for you. So I hope you find this useful and have a good day.